Hello, my name is Raphael. I work for UN Protocol currently, and I'm half Portuguese, half German, but I grew up in Austria. So uh, I started my UN, so to speak, experience started in Vienna at the International Atomic Energy Agency um, around four years ago. Uh, then I did um, some volunteering for UN Cameroon uh, in the field. Uh, and then last year I did my first internship here at the New York headquarters in uh, the leadership support section. Um, and then today, um, now, um, since uh, July, I'm part of uh, UN Protocol and uh, supporting the team uh, of the General Assembly. Um, so my main task uh, this year will be probably um, escorting and taking care of the first ladies uh, of each delegation. So I'll be in charge of bringing them wherever they need to be uh, in the VIP section. Um, I will also support my team uh, in other administrative tasks, such as, for example, um, coming up with background information uh, on each event, on the different speakers. Um, and I also plan to be um, the backup uh, person, so to speak, uh, in case anybody uh, is missing. Uh, as you can imagine, the General Assembly is always on the move, there's always things happening. Um, so I will be, so to speak, uh, the man for everything. I'm very excited, I must say. It was always a, a dream of mine um, to be doing this and to be working here exactly during the general debate. Um, it is something that I uh, was looking forward to, even though it's COVID uh, and it's a global pandemic unfolding. I think it's amazing how how, how far we came, um, and uh, you know, all world leaders coming together here discussing our futures, our youth, um, our youth's future. Um, I think is, is something very very important, and I think every uh, young person uh, would be excited to be taking part of this and seeing so to speak world diplomacy unfold um, from New York uh, to the entire world. Well, I think the General Assembly is the global forum, so to speak, where all the matters that will affect our young generation um, are decided. And I think it's, it's something very, very uh, important um, since, you know, topics such as climate change, uh, inequalities, gender equality, different kinds of minorities um, are supported here. Um, they are given a voice uh, once a year. Um, and I think uh, we, the young people, you know, we have a right uh, to our voice uh, and we should express our voices. And I think the General Assembly is exactly this forum um, that allows that. Um, and I think um, that without the General Assembly and without the United Nations, you know, it would be so much harder getting all the countries and everybody together in one room, even enemies or other countries that, uh, you know, might not be, uh, so to speak, the most friendly with each other. And that's why I think using this forum once a year um, is something that, uh, that we, we young people um, definitely should use and, and will use in the future. So we'll first start um, getting some uh, background information. So um, in general, um, you know, um, watching news, uh, the media, there's a lot of uh, international relations, uh, diplomacy, uh, news, news outlets such as, for example, uh, Diplomatico or New York Times, the Washington Post. Um, and after you've gotten this, so to speak, background information, really start to network, start to find out um, who is um, doing what, what are the different departments, um, try to connect with people on the different kinds of platforms, on LinkedIn, with former interns. There's a lot of things going on here. Um, and also um, try to join, for example, the UN as a UN volunteer, as an intern, uh, in a more, so to speak, junior position. You can even do um, online volunteering during COVID. And all of these experiences really give you uh, the tool set and the experiences that you need to then be able to really um, work uh, as a longer term employee at the United Nations and really make your dreams uh, come true and, and fulfill, so to speak, all your uh, you know, aspirations uh, for the future.